Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to our next EdShorts webinar and session. EdShorts is a community for educators and school leaders devoted to sharing insights and ideas through bite-sized, power-packed, free webinars meant to inspire conversation, encourage innovation, and create connections. The topic for today's session is going to be the ACT Aspire 2020-2021 best, uh, best Practices and Blueprints. Uh, to introduce our presenter, that's going to be my colleague, Darcy, and she's going to be providing all the critical information about this year's assessment. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments and one of our team members will get back to that as soon as possible. Uh, and if you are watching in the future, please leave your comments in the same place and we will try to get back to them as soon as possible. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to my wonderful colleague, Darcy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's first Ed Shorts session. Today, we will discuss a few available updates about the 2021 ACT Aspire assessments, including the test structure, item types, schedule, time durations, and more. So let's begin. The purpose of the ACT Aspire assessments is to measure student achievement and progress toward college and career readiness. ACT uses empirical and performance data to define requisite constructs in the content areas of English, reading, writing, mathematics, and science to identify college and career readiness constructs. There are no new changes announced yet in this year's ACT Aspire assessments. The ELA assessment for grades 3 to 8 covers English, reading, and writing sessions. The math test is done in a single session. The English test measures student knowledge and skill in the following reporting categories. Production of writing, knowledge of language, conventions of standard English. The reading test assesses skills in the following reporting categories. Key ideas and details, craft and structure, integration of knowledge and ideas. The writing test is scored with a four domain analytic scoring rubric. Each grade has a unique rubric because it assesses different writing modes, but the underlying design is the same across all grades. Each of the four rubric domains corresponds to a different trait of the writing sample. Characteristics in the sample are evidence of the following writing competencies. Reflective, narrative slash analysis slash argument, development and support, organization language use. For each Aspire Mathematics test, grade three through early high school, the parts of the 12 math domains that correspond to each grade become a reporting category for the test. This results in five reporting categories for each grade's test. The periodic ACT Aspire tests for all subjects only have selected response items. The length of the test and the number of questions depend on whether it is being conducted as an interim assessment or a class test. All periodic tests are conducted online and only students who need braille accommodations will have the paper-based options available for interims. These tests can be conducted in one session for all subjects or scheduled individually based on the purpose of the testing. Schools may arrange interim and classroom testing at home during the 2020-2021 school year. ACT Aspire summative tests can be conducted online or as paper-based assessments. The English assessment includes selected response items, which are multiple choice questions and one written response question only. Both math and reading along with science have a combination of selected response and constructed response items. Summative testing has to be administered in school. This earlier window allows schools and districts to test earlier and receive baseline data or fill the data gaps created by COVID-19. September 1st, 2020 to November 20th, 2020. The ACT Aspire Summative Spring Testing window for 2020 to 2021 starts from March 29th, 2021 to May 21st, 2021. 
the timing of each subject test varies by subject and grade. The timing for the paper and online tests are the same. In periodic testing, each subject test's estimated timing varies depending on whether the interim or classroom assessment is being administered. Allow approximately 45 minutes for each interim subject test and 15 to 20 minutes for each classroom subject test. These timing estimates are provided as guidelines and are intended for planning purposes only. A single subject test should be completed within one session. When scheduling multiple tests, consider the administrative time, 5 to 10 minutes. Room supervisors need to transition to the next test, factoring in the collection and distribution of test materials and the reading of verbal instructions. For summative testing, when English text to speech audio, Spanish text plus audio, or English text to speech audio plus orienting description is selected, the online tests will launch with 300% extra time already included. Test nav tools are updated for easier administration of the ACT Aspire test. Summative scores of grade 6 students will also show predicted ACT scores for students in the report. Individual student reports for interim tests and current progress reports will now have a predictive summative score. These will give educators insights into how well a student will do on the summative assessment. ACT Aspire has developed a booklet for each grade and subject that defines ACT Aspire reporting categories for each test. These booklets present at least one test question aligned to each reporting category on a given test. Depth of Knowledge Level, or DOK, a description of the task presented by the test question and a description of the correct response are also provided along with improvement idea statements to help students build on their current skill level knowledge. These exemplars are available on the Department of Education website and on the ACT website for everyone to use. Other realistic practice resources to help students prepare for the summative are also available for schools to purchase from vendors. These programs provide rigorous practice with standards aligned practice tests that mirror ACT Aspire and provide targeted remediation for their skill gaps. They also include mimicking items that can be used as bell ringers in classroom work during regular classroom sessions to improve student performance. These also help drive remedials with supplemental study resources to students in all RTI groups to address their learning gaps. For online testing, it is critical that students' screens are not visible to each other. Computers must all face the same direction and should be spaced so that the examinees are at least three feet apart, side to side measured shoulder to shoulder, and at least five feet apart, front to back measured head to head. Students must face the same direction for paper testing, spaced as far apart as possible and to be seated no closer than three feet. Some seating arrangements are clearly marked by ACT as unacceptable. Here are a few of them. Students are to be seated in straight rows and columns directly in line with each other to avoid overseeing others' papers. Seating should also allow enough aisle space for staff to circulate throughout the room without disturbing students. We hope this was helpful. It is now time for our Q&A sections. Feel free to share your questions in the comments. Thank you for joining us today in our Ed Short session on 2021 ACT Aspire tests. We will return soon with more updates.